Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video has been a long awaited video for many of you guys with a BMW E60. And that's simply because we're gonna be doing the LCI upgrade on this black E60. Now I know many of you are gonna say, why am I not polishing it and doing everything else, getting it ready before I fit these? But that's purely because I need to do it while the car is actually stripped because obviously bumper bolts are gonna to have to come out to actually remove the whole headlights. And obviously a lot of the trim's gonna to have to come out to do the rear tail lights. Now I'm gonna be doing this video separately so you guys get to follow it and be able to see it all accurately and detailed so you guys can actually do it. So I'm gonna break this video down into two segments. So we're gonna do the LCI tail lights on a following video, but today we're gonna to do the front headlights. Now the LCI tail lights I'm gonna be doing with the LM2 module as well. And that's purely because it all goes together and the wiring for the rear tail lights go into the LM2. So I am gonna be doing that all in another video, but today we're gonna to focus on doing the headlights on this car and we're gonna be upgrading them to the LCI ones. So I'm gonna show you how to remove the old ones. I'm gonna show you how to connect up the new LCI headlights. Now these are the halogen ones. And I know this video hasn't been done on YouTube and people do not show you how to actually do this either. A lot of people show you on the M5 because it's very, very simple because most of them come with Xenons, but nobody shows you how to do the halogen LCI upgrade. So let's get onto this video. God damn, get it done with you. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes because his memories. We run into New York, so you know. Okay, guys, so we're going to start on my passenger side one. We're going to get this removed. Um, and it's going to be the same for the driver side as well. So, what we're going to go ahead and do is start removing this headlight so we can fit the LCI one. I do have them here as a set. They come off a set, the same car, even the tail lights did off an LCI 60 and we are gonna be fitting them to this E60 right here. Now, one thing obviously I wanted to obviously do before I actually fitted them was put LED bulbs inside them, but I don't have the locking clips at present. So that will be something I'll do later on, but for now I'm just gonna install them and get them installed so you guys can see how to actually install them. Now, many of you have probably have been through this many, many times of how to remove the headlights on these cars, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it as well. So you guys can obviously see how it's all done. So you can see there's all torque spots we're gonna have to remove. You've got a slam panel here, we're gonna have to take off as well to get the headlight out because it's got a big bracket that sits around, uh, just underneath the bumper here, which is gonna be in our way to get the whole headlight out. Just like that, that's the Torx 30s all out very, very quickly. Now you should be able to see that the headlight will wobble, as you can see right there, but it's not gonna come out straight away. And the reason for that is simply because we have to remove everything else to this part here on the bumper to be able to access the headlight. So underneath the trim, you're gonna have your Torx bolts all along here as well. That's why I've had to take the trim off and you are just gonna to have to unbolt them. So then you can see that the bumper then moves forward. Now we are gonna just disconnect the bumper from inside the fender. So I think it's a 10 mil bolt which holds it onto the fender, which we're gonna unloosen just to be able to pull the bumper out a bit so we can get the headlight out. So just up in the fender here, you'll have a 10 mil bolt that you need to remove and that holds the wing to the fender on the fender bracket so we can pull the bumper just slightly over so we will be able to get um, the headlight completely out. Okay guys, so now I've got the bumper released. So there is two eight mil bolts as well you're gonna to have to remove that hold obviously the bumper to the fender and you can see there now, the headlight is now free to come out. Now we do have torque bolts underneath that sit on a bracket that we've got to unbolt as well. So we are just gonna to have to stick our torques all the way in the back here and release them. Now we have got another one over the back here. Just released. And then that's the whole headlight out. And we're gonna take the plugs out. Just like that. And that's the headlight out. Now here is the new headlight. And as you can see, this is the LCI one. And this is the bracket right here, which you align the torque screws through that bolt it to the bumper bracket right there. Now, obviously it is a straight plug and play and I'm gonna show you why that is. So what I have here are connectors. And if you can see, these are already made up connectors for the LCI conversion. Now these will only work for the halogen ones. These will not work for the Xenon headlight. So if you are trying to switch over to halogen LCI ones, you can use these. Now I actually ordered these from the US itself and it's purely because 
cutting them, you can't actually make the connector. You can see all the wiring down here. Um, there's all different pins and you've also got this one here. Now you can obviously form this connector just by the colors. You can see it on there if you wanted to, but obviously it just made more sense. I paid, I think only around $40 for the two of them and they're already connected and they should work and how they slip on is very, very simple. So you just put your connector on here, then you just slot it in. Then you just get this one right here and just slot that one in and then you just plug that into the headlight. Now, when you do change your headlights over, you need to remember to make sure you bring this clip with you. This clip will go up here, which actually bolts the headlight in at the top of the um, chassis itself. So do remember to take these clips off your old headlights. Plug it in, it's a simple plug and play. After you've done that, so you just plug them into the headlight, just like that, you hear them snap in, and you can just lower the headlight into its housing, align the brackets, just like that, and then you've got to bolt everything back up. So to put the Torx box back in, I would recommend use your hands to align them first and then screw them down. And once you have them aligned, then you can just literally bolt them all up. Now, what we're gonna have to do now is relift the bumper, just put it back in position and just put it all back. Then what you're gonna wanna do is retighten all your bolts back down before you tighten the headlight bracket back down. And once you've got the bumper just back in place, guys, obviously we're not gonna bolt it all down because I've still gotta do the other side. This is how the headlight will look. We are gonna have to give them a clean at some point to shine them all up when we do the whole car. But we are now gonna to move to the other side. And as I said to you, it is very, very easy. 10 mil bolt, two eight mil bolts that release the actual bumper from the fender bracket itself. Then you can easily get the headlight out. Same thing on the other side. We're gonna to move to the other side and I'll quickly show you how to do that one as well. Then once you get the bumper release, just gonna pull it out with its fending clips. It's very, very easily. Can be a bit tough because all the ears are being on there. And just like that, it will come out, pull it off from the front so we can get the Torx bolts out. It's one of the Torx bolts out. Now we need to get a second one out. See there, just by hand. I just managed to get them out. And that's the next one out. And then we'll plug our connector onto the headlights, just like that. Slide it down. Now plug this one into here, just like that. Now we can plug this one into our headlight. Once that's in, we're now gonna put our Torx bolts back in. Now I'm gonna have to put my hand in and put them in because I won't be able to put them in otherwise. And that's the first one in, now we'll do the second one. And now that one's tightened. Now, before you realign the bumper, when you go to put it back on, do remember, Tighten all your bolts at the top here to pull the bumper in before you stretch it round the fender. Otherwise, it will just um, be bumpy all round and it'll be sticking out of points and you'll have to stretch it again. So do remember that. To tighten the ones up here to align it and then wrap it around the bumper. But as you can see there, guys, that's the LCI um, retrofit done, at least on the headlights. And that is how simple it is and how easy it is to actually do it. I will be showing you the coding because they will not work when you put them in because they have to be coded. These headlights are going to have to use LM2. So do remember that if you are planning to put them in, you do have to have LM2. So I am going to be doing that um, when we actually do the tail lights as well. Like I said, that will be in another video. As I said, headlights ain't too hard to do. Just remember to take the bumper off and you need to get the two Torx bolts on the bracket at the bottom, but the rest of them are very, very easy. And like I said, if you can get them connectors, get them because it'll make your life a lot easier than messing about cutting wires trying to figure out what wire goes where i will put up a diagram though if you guys want to do it so you guys can go ahead and cut your wires and repin it or you can see the pin out on these headlights so you guys can work it out from there okay guys so as you've seen now i've now installed the lci headlights to this bmw 60. the next video you will be seeing will be regarding the tail light upgrade and the lm2 module so i can make 
these headlights actually function and work because as I said to you, these will not function on the LM1. These need to have the LM2 to actually function. At the present, the eyebrows are just coming on. But once I do all the coding and the LM2, these will be fully functioning along with the head, tail lights and the headlights. Now, them adapters, I won't be able to link purely because I got them from the USA. But if you are in the US, you will be able to find them online and we'll be able to purchase them. They are $39 for a set of two. And if you can't find them, just let me know and I'll try and help you find them. But I know people in the UK, you won't be able to order them unless you have someone in the US who is willing to ship them to you. And that's purely because they do not ship to the UK and there is nowhere else you can actually find them. I've been looking for these for a long time to actually do this upgrade to this BMW 60, because as I said, I didn't really want to be cutting the wiring and having to do all the pinouts on the new adapter, because I've done all that on my M5, and that was just absolute headache and very, very long. So I hope this video is going to help many of you upgrade your headlights from the old halogen ones to the LCI ones, because I know there's many of you with the old E60 halogen ones, just like I have, and I've managed to upgrade mine to the LCI ones. I will be showing you how to install the LM2 and how to run the tail lights and pin them out on the next video and obviously we'll get these headlights actually working as well but thank you very much for watching guys it's bmw dr dean here and goodbye